What's up guys? It's Ryantium here and today we are back in Skyrim. If that's right you guys, and no snap is gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back and happy showcase day. So today, today you find me just chilling by a river with a very glum face look, or look on my face. Probably because there's some slaughterfish down there in the water, but you know what? We're just not going to pay any attention to them. But today we're taking a look at this, the Red Bags Gloom Reach Retreat. That is a massive mouthful of a house name, so we're just going to call it the Gloom Retreat. So this is the house right here, and I will go ahead and preface this by saying it is a very small home with not a lot of bells and whistles. However, it's apparently going to be part of a much larger mod overhaul to the Morth Hall area, but I figured it would be kind of cool to do a showcase on it by itself. Read the mod description and see, um, you know, what it says down there. And hopefully we'll see this in another mod one day. But where exactly are we on the map? Well, we're right here. So the home is located right down the river from Markarth. Markarth probably being your closest hold, with your second closest being Falkreath, although it's kind of like right in the middle of both of them. So it's right down here along the river. You want to find Old Heralden and then come right down there. Now this home, like I said, is very, very tiny. And on the inside, there aren't as many bells and whistles. However, the outside, I think, is where it shines the most. I've never seen a home in Skyrim look like this. It looks like a turtle. <laughs> it straight up looks like a turtle, and I kind of could dig it. Now, the one thing that I like about this is the fact that it is so small. It, you know, there's a lot of character with it, and um, it's cool with all the little portholes on there, and uh, the little, you know, kind of the overgrowth kind of moss look on top of the roof. But you can actually, can we actually see inside? Yeah, we can. Look at that. You can actually see through the portholes. And that's really cool. Now, I promise you there's more in there than this. <laughs> that's just because it's not rendered in. But let's go ahead and head on inside our brand new home. So welcome home to your Gloom Reach Retreat. And here we are, inside of your brand new home. And do not be afraid, it's just the shadow of a chain. <laughs> it kind of scared me the first time I walked in here. I was like, oh god, what is that? So this is the home. I know, it's very small, and it's very um, vanilla with sprinkles. However, I do like the fact that it is so small in here, because it's a nice little stop-off. If you've ever needed somewhere to just kind of rest your head for a little bit, especially those of us who like to use the survival mods and stuff on Skyrim, this is certainly one of the best places to do it, because it does get kind of cold out here in the Reach, and uh, it's a nice little spot to come and cook things up. So, in typical Rantium fashion, let's break it down, shall we? So we've got this beautiful door right here. And then a little bit of storage area over here for some fish and some, you know, regular things, as well as some Alto wine. And then a nice little chair right here with a dinner table set for two, although it's kind of a dinner nook, <laughs> if you will. I do kind of wish that you could open the windows, the little portholes right here, but unfortunately you cannot. Then we've got this large hanging cauldron right here, which is really kind of a nice design and just a really unique look. And you got the big griddle on there to go ahead and cook and, you know, cook some stuff. And you can take your cast iron pot and drop that in there. Get it all nice and toasty. And then we've got this cool little spiral staircase right here that leads up into the bedroom slash alchemy lab. Now, it's kind of nice to have an alchemy lab, especially if you're going to be playing a minimalist playthrough. Because this house is certainly going for the minimalist look. It really only gives you what you need as far as sleeping, cooking, and maybe some alchemical ingredients and everything like that. It's certainly not a collector's home. It's certainly, and no, that does not do that much damage. It's because I'm in god mode. It's certainly not, you know, a lavish luxury home out here in the, the wilderness of the Reach. It is simply a stop-off point for, for you, or it's an outpost for you uh, uh, with the, you know, survival mods and stuff installed. And uh, honestly, I think it does its job well. It's nicely located. It's on its own kind of little island area. It's a fairly safe region through here, but you do need to be worried about um, Forsworn, as well as wolves and, um, you know, the ever ever so random, uh, what are, who are they, the, um, the Thalmor, just kind of running around and chilling. But let me know what you guys thought of this home down there in the comment section. I know it was a very short showcase today, and it's a very tiny home. However, I do think it deserved a showcase of its own because I know not everyone will love this house, but I, for one, like its charm. Its nice little um, outside looks really good, and uh, I, for one, like the way that it looks. I like its uniqueness. It stands out from some of the homes that we've showcased here on the channel. So let me know down there in the comment section, did you, did you like it? Did you hate it? Would you use this home, and what would you use it for? I'm curious to see what you guys are going to say about it. So 
Until next time, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.